Hello, my name is Alexis Broom, and this is my review of the animated motion picture Coco, uh, 2017, and it is rated PG. It is rated PG for the thematic events such as one of the characters, De La Cruz, gets crushed by a bell, and another character, Hector, gets poisoned. All right, and then this movie is produced by Darla K. Anderson, and it is directed by Adrian Monola and Lee Uncritch. Rich. Um, list the top actors in the movie and what characters they play. Anthony Gonzalez plays Miguel. He's a little boy that the movie is about. Marco Antonio plays Ernest de la Cruz. He's the man that gets crushed by the bell. He is also the famous singer. Anna Ophelia plays Mama Coco. She is Miguel's grandmother, and Gail Garcia is De La Cruz's old friend um, that gets poisoned in the movie. Um, and then a quick plot of the movie is the movie Coco is about a boy named Miguel whose family is against music. His family makes shoes for a living and wants him to make shoes for a living as well. They, his family does not like music. They don't like anything that has to do with music. Um... And so Miguel wants to play in the talent show and he has this guitar and he tries to sneak out to go play while his family is setting up for uh, Day of the Dead and his family finds out and so they take his guitar and they break it. He tries to go uh, steal La, La Cruz's guitar. His guitar is in the cemetery um, in kind of like this memorial place and... He breaks in through the window to get in there, and he, when he touches the guitar, um, he kind of turns see-through, so, you know, while people are looking for him, they can't see him. So, he is in the cemetery with uh, all the other loved ones that are passed on, and so they kind of lead him into their world um, where all the other people who have passed on are. Um, and so he finds his family there and he wants his, he wants his family that has passed on to give him their blessing so he can play music in, um, his world. And so, you know, while he's trying to get someone to give him his blessing and everything, um, he kind of understands how much music means to him and he will do whatever it takes to play music. So that's pretty much what the movie is about. And then what I liked about the movie or a scene that had stayed with me, I absolutely love this movie. I thought it was so cute, the themes that surrounded the movie. Um, I learned what the Day of the Dead really meant to those who celebrated the event. Uh, a scene that almost made me cry is when Miguel came back home and he started playing Remember Me to Mama Coco when all of his family members were sitting around. Um... It was emotional because in the beginning, Mama Coco did not make um, really any expressions. She just kind of sat there lifelessly, um, you know, in her wheelchair. And she never said anything. She never made any emotions. So when she started singing Remember Me with Miguel and saying, Oh, well, my father sang that to me when I was a little girl. It was a really emotional scene. Um, super cute though. It was a really good scene. And then another thing that stuck with me in the movie is when La Cruz, La Cruz had quoted, never underestimate the power of music. No one was going to hand me my future. It was up for me to reach for my dream, grab it tight and make it come true. I really like this quote because I can relate to it as a college student. You know, I'm going to college for this dream just like everybody else and so um you know we're kind of all reaching for our dream grabbing it tight and we're gonna make it come true so i really like that quote because of um that reason and then um did i find any parts of the movie disturbing or that i didn't like i did not find any parts of the movie disturbing or anything that i didn't like other user other viewers might not like the fact of their kids watching skeletons, but I think of it like an educational movie for people who aren't really educated on Day of the Dead. Um, kids can learn about Day of the Dead, and the movie has a good, clear theme for kids, for dreams, you know. 
Um, it's, nobody's going to hand you your dream on a silver platter. You need to go out. You need to work hard for it. Nothing you nothing in this life is for free. You're going to have to put in a little work for, you know, what you want to do. So I really like that theme for kids as well. You know, don't just expect people to hand you things on the silver platter. Um, and then I'm going to give my honest opinion on if I would recommend this film and why. I would highly recommend this film to anyone, um, you know, young, older. I thought the movie was cute and it had a good theme to it. Plus, it would, it could educate someone more on the Day of the Dead like it did me at first. I'm not going to lie, I did not want to watch this movie. I love watching Disney movies, but I did not know much about Day of the Dead and I thought I wouldn't get the concept of the movie. At the end, I was very glad that I watched the movie though. It was a very good movie. All right. And then my general thoughts about the about watching um the movie was oh, watching the movies through the semester. All right. Okay, yes, that's what I'm on. All right. Finally, my general thoughts about uh, my movie watching experience this fall semester and if there's any new movies that I would recommend for us to watch during the break. Um, all of the movies that we have watched this semester, I'm not gonna lie, if I had uh, not been assigned to watch the movies, I would not have watched them. I don't have enough time. I work two jobs. I'm super busy. Um, I just feel like I don't ever have time to watch movies, but since you had assigned us to the movies, I watched every single one of them, and I'm glad that I watched every single one of them. Um, I feel like there was a reason that you had, um, wanted us to watch every single movie that you did, and I'm glad that I watched them. Either it was a lesson, or it had a theme to it that was good. Um, you know, just anything little, big, small in the movies that we could take from it. I'm glad that I watched them. And then some movies that I can recommend over the break would be Elf or National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation since Christmas is coming up. Those are two really good movies to set the mood for Christmas for you or your family. A movie that I would recommend other than a Christmas movie would be The Pursuit of Happiness. It's a good heartfelt movie. It is about a father who is struggling as a single father while looking for a new job when he gets kicked out of his apartment with the son and they live on the street. It's a really good movie. I would highly recommend. Um, and then another good movie, and I'm not a, this is not a movie, it's a show, is Dexter. It's a really good show. If you like mystery, crime, anything like that, it's a super good movie and I would highly recommend watching it. Um, and this is Alexis Broom signing off. Thank you for having me in your class.